Welcome back guys to The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. This is on dark mode, the hardest difficulty level on this game. This is Road to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is episode 37, chapter 2. Let us continue. I wonder if we should wait for the daylight. Nah, I think we're good. You guys can see good. Gotta go there. Gotta s oh, so right, now, right now we're doing the quest, the royal blood. So stop the peasants from lighting the prince. Gotta save the prince or something. I don't know. Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on, guys? Give us. Geralt! Hey. It's good to see you. You too. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Oh. <gasps> Nobody's maintaining order. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Burden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Yolveth! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice. You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead. Well, the poisoned prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Where is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! <laughs> we need to act quickly. Hmm. What's your plan? What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as his stations do. The plague into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other, Say, Witcher, come over here. Say, Witcher, come over here. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven harbour. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stannis for a pouch. He'd better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. 
Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. Mm -hmm. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We it's have true. a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. Oh, Jesus it's Christ. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage. But he must be one of us lads. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sasuke's a virgin? <laughs> well, well, Witcher. You get with the ladies, so <laughs> why not go with them? <laughs> uh, you know. Just... And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Land. Get away with them. No. Screw you. Cut. Farewell. Yep. Bye-bye. This is Give us this whole power. You can see what they did for us. Tell to the peasant. If not for that, they say someone else. Nobody will believe me anyway. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused I know you. Afraid of something? No. Nothing. I saw your twin brother. You're lying. Literally. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing. Don't know nothing. And didn't see nothing. I don't want to hurt you. I really don't. But I'll cut your arm off if I have to. No. No. Please. Then talk. So tell me what you saw. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Nobody will believe me anyway. Another piece of okay. Sorcerers had a plague of the worst kind. Don't have Gate much time. Door. Go, 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 go. Go, go. We don't have time. We don't have time. Go, 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 let me show you on the map. It's about right here. Thank you. See you, Governor. No problem. Bye bye. Sayonara. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Go to the door. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Wait for the event to unfold. Okay. Now just wait. Okay. Pick up a bunch of stuff I can't pick. I'm picking up a bunch of stuff that I can't pick. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Just books. Alright. Let's go then. Let's wait for the event. Let's wait for the event to unfold. Cause that's what it says. <laughs> Let's go. The commoners claim it's not just old Give Say, us this Witcher, whole come over here. Roll it this guy down, keeps talking. Who's this? What Say, do you want? Witcher, come over here. We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world. I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? 
No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. Okay, then. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Yes, this whole plower! Rolling down, you surly dog! Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No, thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times. And what happened? Nothing. Because the steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, Avenger Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's breeches. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Mm -hmm. Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. Thorax? See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. The prince has it coming, methinks. Enough of this charade. Uh -oh. Try to be reasonable, folks. Sit down and talk in peace. We've talked enough. Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel. Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk a Dernian land, say so. And again. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretended to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. 
Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, Yoko. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene damned the prince can. Curses on his king. Nobody in Bergen wants to kill Saskia. But even if they want it, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis's leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stannis to join the conspiracy. Is Stannis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Okay. Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stannis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, and thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. Shoot, sorry about that. However, you guys skip the line. She, the Virgin of Eden can judge me. Can he? And if Saskia won't get well, who's going to judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. What is this guy doing? Those are words worthy of a true What is he suffering. doing? <laughs> I oh am the God. one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the guys right there. What are they doing? They don't. They, they can't see this is really important. Jesus Christ. The prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Right. Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, <sighs> real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated and Again with this guy. <laughs> and where will it lead? Guess we couldn't find we couldn't find more evidence to show him that he's not guilty. The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure. And royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. 
Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Squirtel units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. Yeah, we still need blood though. Boy, the quest got updated. The quests. Well, got updated. Oh, here we go. Suspect. Well, that's no really. We don't really need that anymore. Or, oh yeah, we still can. We can still do it, right? Yeah, we can still do it to prove that he's not guilty. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels for me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again. Alright, so it wasn't him. <laughs> 